I remember. Everybody has a different recollection too, because we all met each other at different times too. You know, I remember meeting Ty and I remember meeting Jerry, and I didn't even know that they had even met each other. And yeah. you know, um, where were you? Well, we. I had moved to Houston. Uh, Houston. I had moved to to Springfield, Missouri, to join a band, and Jerry was so happened to be joining the same band, and that's how we met. Um, through that, I saw Ty playing at a a spring fling at the, the, the college and he just got up and played this one lead. I didn't hear any guitar the whole song until it went, went to the lead. I don't even know what the song was. Ty did a lead and it was it was a typical Ty Tabor lead and I was like this is really good <laughs> and I go that's the guitar player who is he and nobody knew and finally I asked a bunch of people and actually a friend of mine that I was hanging with actually did some research and found out who he was, and he says, his name's Ty Tabor. Then I went over to Jerry's house that night, actually, and I told him, and and his wife looked his name up in the dictionary. Yeah, I mean, not the dictionary, <laughs> the dictionary. Ty Tabor, you know, <laughs> what did it say about that? You know, that? I am pretty popular. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, picked, she found his name in uh, 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 the directory, the college directory, and she called him up, and then she handed the phone to me, because I was real shy, I didn't even want to, I was afraid to call, you know. And she dialed the phone in here. You know, she just, so it's all her fault. So she yeah, better she not complain phone about phone. this. <laughs> was at a Phil Keggy show, and um, I was playing for a band called the Tracy's Inn Band, and the, Tracy's drummer had just quit the week before the gig, and it was a really big gig for us, because it was like, you know, 10 bands in this uh, this gymnasium. Name but hoop on that, not <laughs> Doug and Jerry were playing with, with uh, Phil Keggy, and that was the headline gig, and we played right before, right before you guys. Was it? Yep. Yeah, uh, I had no drums, and we had, and our also our band had no drummer, and they asked me to play drums, and um, I had never even practiced drums with them on this stuff. And I said, well, I'll try. So the way I met Jerry was I went up to him while he was setting up his drums and said, hey, I, I play in the band that's going to be playing right before you guys. Do you mind if I use your drums? It's sort of like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could, I, could I use your drums tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I think the first time I ever played with, with Ty was uh, in the Tracy's in band. Yeah, in the we studio. Were a, we were doing a demo over right. at Greg's church. Right. I remember Ty sitting over in the corner, just playing this these leads, just playing guitar. I'm going, man, that guy can play the guitar. I like what he's doing. <laughs> and he was <laughs> 19, unusual, 18 years old. Unusual at that time. <laughs> Jerry ended up joining the Tracy's Inn band, and we did gigs together for months. At the same time, Doug and Jerry were still doing some stuff with Keggy here and there. I mean, we crossed paths with each other. I was playing with Jerry, and Jerry was playing with Doug, and then me and Doug were playing together, but none of us all three at the same time. Matter of fact, me and Jerry played for another thing, Greg Vole's band, yes. too, for, and we did a, We sure did. Well, I was stuff. out with Carl Hinshaw's band. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Singing My Scarotum. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, goodness gracious. I really did that, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't know what Scarotum meant. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of sheltered, okay? I listen to music. That's about it. But, uh... We were on stage, man, and I was doing a, we were doing a sound check, and I was doing a mic check, and I kept going, Mascaronum, and it was this Christian college. And it, was like, it was like the lunchroom, too, and these people were eating and stuff, you know, and, and I'm just over and over and over again. I mean, I sang it like a whole lot, and, uh, and nobody said anything to me. But that was Carl, though. Carl, Carl loved to do that. Carl got a kick out of Listen watching me make a fool out of myself. <laughs> yeah. Carl, Carl was our first sound man, and yes. he honed the PA. Mm -hmm. So everywhere we played, everybody thought we were the Carl Henshaw, Henshaw band. band because all our <laughs> equipment said Carl Henshaw on it.
I remember saying to you, Ty, would you like to play together? And at, I remember when I asked you, Jerry and I had already made a commitment to stick together. I mean, I remember we verbally talked about that before we even met you, right? When Phil left, I said, we're going to stick together. And Jerry said, yeah. Because I figured I found, I found a drummer. You know, this is cool now. All we need is a guitar player. Doug was the instigator of actually the bright idea of calling all of us and saying, hey, why don't we all play together yeah. <laughs> in the same band? Somehow we all ended up living in the same house except for Jerry and his wife and kid had you only had one boy then, right? Yeah, Jeremy. just Jeremy at the time. And um, they had their own place, but the rest of us and the crew and everybody working with us, plus friends and everything <laughs> else we could pile into a house, lived in Doug's house, a two-bedroom house, <laughs> and yes, sleeping sir. on the floors and stuff. There was a lot of us there. Like we, jumping, yeah. we lived in the shifts <laughs> because, like, Ty and... Yeah. And well, there was like four people would stay up all night watching TV and just having a great time and sleep all day. And then the other four or five of us would sleep all night and get up all day and it was always a conflict. One thing though I think we all wanted to be is real melodic and real heavy which is something that there wasn't too many bands doing. Cheap Trick was like that, kind of. But uh, we wanted that heavy melody kind of thing happening. And, uh, so we've been trying to do that ever since. And... As soon as we became officially a band, everybody had friends who wanted to be roadies and hang out. Mm. And By the way, who all was in the band originally? Okay, originally there was Dan McCollum and Ty and Jerry and me. First, the first phase of it. And, and then, Dan played guitar. We had two guitars in the early days. Yeah, Dan quit after the first gig. Remember <laughs> the, the, uh, the famous Twilight Zone show? I still have that on tape. I do too. Yes sir, that was a good show. Drum Boogie. Oh man, I love listening to that. It was a club, a little club called the Twilight Zone. It's probably yeah. as big as, wasn't even as big as somebody's garage, one car. The guy had the bright idea to start having some, like, garage bands come play. Mm -hmm. Only place we could possibly get a gig, because they would take anybody, because yeah. they just needed a band. <laughs> Basically, after Dan left, um, we wanted to have another guitar player. We liked having... You wanted to have another yeah, guitar player. Yeah, I wanted to have another guitar player. I liked being in a band with, um, with four people. <laughs> I remember that. Instead of three, because it was just fun to me. I had always been in bands with other guitar players where you could play separate parts uh, yeah. together and, you know, and play off of each other. Right. And I, you know, I felt totally intimidated by the idea of being three-piece. So... I suggested a friend of mine from Mississippi I'd gone to high school with, a guy named Kirk Henderson. And I called Kirk and, you know, he packed his bags, came out to Missouri, and joined a band. Immediately. <laughs> it's just like, okay, I'll leave home and forsake all and join this, this nothing band. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> We were called The Edge, and uh, Kurt played with us, and, and we did a few more Twilight Zone gigs, and we got a few more, like, really crap gigs like that in a few places, you know, yeah. and started getting a reputation. Um, we started out doing all originals. Um, Twilight Zone, just total originals, mm -hmm. and some really bizarre ones at that. Mm -hmm. 